Lamont Butler's buzzer beater will forever be etched in San Diego sports history. Tony Gwynn Jr. joins us live with more on the Aztecs' historic run and his reaction to the game-winning shot. Look at that smile. Oh. <laughs> You're happy, aren't you? <laughs> I'm excited. I think everybody in the city is excited today. Yeah, everybody is excited. And Christina said it well. It doesn't matter like who you are, what you do, whether you followed it or not. There's just this, a certain feeling that you just, it's just happening in, in San Diego right now. We have video of you celebrating the Aztecs' Final Four win uh, over Florida at Atlantic. Take us to that moment. I mean, I saw it explode on social media, and I opened it up, and it was, <laughs> uh, and you could see how excited everybody was. What was that moment like for you? Uh, it was stressful, to be honest. I, I, I was, the, they kept calling timeouts with like under a minute and starting lineups are getting ready to, to happen. I had to be ready to kind of go through the lineups, get us to break. And so I was just praying the game would end before then. And so uh, when, when, when Butler comes down and, and he dribbles to the corner and he looked back, I was, I kind of panicked. I was, I didn't think we were going to get a shot off, but once he he looked at the clock and you know made his decision he took that shot with confidence and when it left his hands i was 99 percent sure it was going in and then when it went in oh. everything erupted the whole I, stadium erupted isn't this i just okay listen and even if you don't follow sports like feel like this is what dreams are made of like these are what you know when you see the sports movies this is what he had like i think it was 0.6 or 0.7 left on the clock and I mean, you, you're right, like you kind of tense up, you're like, and then you don't breathe. <laughs> you're like, oh, oh my gosh, and then go, and then go, Christina. Little, oh okay, sorry, well, you know, you know what I mean. That, that's exactly what that, that, uh, that celebration was. It was that kind of oh. tense moment and then all of it releasing yep. at the same time. Um, you're right, it doesn't, that hasn't happened in this city, you know, outside mm. of, you know, a few times ever. Um, so, the fact that we all get to celebrate it, it comes, what, four months after the Padres were able to do their thing in yeah. the playoffs. It just all seems like it's it's starting to roll in our direction for once. And, uh, man, if, if we can win a national championship tonight, that would just be, Ooh. that would be it. And they say when we win, right? Yes, Not when. If. Mm -hmm. what <laughs> when. When we win. What will championship. need to happen when we win tonight? What will have <laughs> needed to happen? You know where I'm going with this. Yeah. I think, you know, you heard Dutch talk about it a little bit in you guys' piece. Um, we got to stop them in transition. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a good UConn team. And, you know, FAU, they got ahead because they were getting those open looks, and we hadn't really given those up all tournament. So um, if we just play our brand of basketball, we're going to give ourselves a really good chance. We got to knock some shots down on the offensive end. But mm -hmm. I, I know one thing, San Diego State is well represented in Houston. I've had so many phone calls. So many people trying to get me not to go to work today <laughs> to go down to the national championship game. But uh, it, it, I think we're going to be well represented. And I think it's going to be a good night. I mean, Coach Dutcher, I mean, you've seen what, well, obviously with Coach Fisher and how they had transitioned this team into what it is. Would you say that this is the best Aztec team you've seen so far? Talent-wise, it's certainly the deepest Aztec team. Mm. I mean, they run nine, ten deep. Um, you know, that, that 2020 team was, was pretty talented. They didn't get an opportunity right. to play the tournament because of uh, the pandemic. But uh, I, I'm so happy for Coach Fish and Coach Dutch. Mm -hmm. I, I remember when I was a, a freshman on campus, it was their second year. Coach Dutch used to walk around campus and, and personally invite people to the games, like oh. trying to get people to come. And now here he is leading this team to a national championship. It, it's pretty awesome to see. You remember that, and many people remember your father played for the Aztecs, all-time assist leader. Uh, what is that like for you? And then to like see history just happening right now uh, for San Diego. Um, in some ways, it's 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 uh, it's sad, right? Because I, I I know how happy he would be mm. right now to watch this team get as far as as they've gotten. He he was a huge basketball fan. Um, and love the Aztecs, so he would be he would have a smile from ear to ear right now. But oh. um, it, it's it's nice it's nice you know that San Diego State has gotten this far. I, I was watching ESPN the other day during their shoot around, mm. and Jay Billis, who's you know one of the best analysts we have in in, in college basketball, was kind of going through the history of Michael Cage and, and Tony Gwynn, and mm. to hear his mm. name mentioned 
uh, on the basketball side of things yes. uh, is pretty cool. I love that. Oh, I love that. Okay, listen, tomorrow, after they win, <laughs> are we, well, we, what, what we want is we're gonna wanna see more video of you just going, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you guys might be in luck because I, I, I do believe there'll be a GoPro on me today because oh. oh. the game will be running simultaneously with the Padre game. So, oh, that's right. Uh, yes, that's right. Je my partner, Jesse Agler, is going to have his plate full today because I don't know how uh, efficient <laughs> I'll be on the mic. Yeah, how are you going to do that? <laughs> He's going to find a way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's going to find a way. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and talking to us at um, feeding into our excitement. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for having me. <laughs> Take care. All right. Uh, come on, Sean. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. Okay, I think we're going to break.